All right, YouTube. Y'all got me today, all dolled up. Okay. <laughs> I put makeup on. <laughs> Did my edges. Come on, edges. And um, yeah, so I decided to dress up for y'all today to come. You know, looking like something. It's mom's night. That's why I'm kind of looking like something. And I didn't even have a whole lot to do, y'all, but I ended up. Let me see if I show y'all where I'm at. All right, I ended up at good old, good old faithful Chick fil A. Mm. This is one of the places I ended up. First, y'all. I just went to Dick Sporting Goods looking for some new running shoes because I'm about to train, start training next month, y'all, for a half marathon. Half marathon. <laughs> I have not ran one in a couple of years, I think, since 2020. It was like a virtual one. So this one's going to be like full on in person. I think it's called. Don't give me the line, y'all. I feel like it's called the Urban Bourbon. That's what I feel like it's called. The race I'm doing. But anywho, I'm excited. Excited. It might end up being my last long distance. Long, long run. Unless I work my way up to a full marathon one day. This will be my I think this will be my last half marathon, y'all. I really do. But I'm excited. I start training next month. Um, so I went to go look for some new running shoes because I need some and I want to train in my new shoes. So I'm looking at the Hoka's. I think that's how you pronounce it. The Hoka's. And they had some pretty cute ones at pretty good prices. So I typically run in a Saucony. I forget like the kind of Saucony it is, but it's a running shoe. It's amazing. I loved it, um, but I'm just thinking about switching it up, y'all. Thinking about switching it up. So let me know if you have recommendations for long distance running shoes, comfy, lightweight. I'm not a big fan of Brooks's. They're kind of narrow and I don't have a wide foot, but I don't have a narrow foot either. So also I don't have a big arch. So I wonder if that's why I like Saucony running shoes. But anywho, that was my first thing I decided to do on Mom's Night, which I get a Mom's Night every Tuesday, y'all. So if y'all have recommendations on something I should start doing on my Mom's Night, let me know. Typically, I hang out with some friends, but this week, I did not. Next thing I did was went over to Bath and Body Works, y'all, and I decided to get in something that is not anything new, okay? But it is my first time getting into this, y'all. The little wallflower thing, I, suppose, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, wallflowers. I love succulents, and this looks like one that I have. And it matches, like, the color. One of the colors of my house is, like, plant green, so. And I got the smell all wrapped up in here but i'm pretty sure it's like strawberry shortcake y'all so as i said i'm new to this whole world but my house was starting to stink y'all and so i was like all right i got a dog i got five kids busy busy life and my house is starting to not smell good so decided to get into it i hope that y'all can hear me good and because i'm got my windows down i'm like chilling in the Chick Fil A parking lot, and decided just to show y'all something I do on my mom's night, and I got a little bit of word for y'all too, a little bit of word, something I studied. All right, my last stop so far. I don't know what I'm gonna do next, but this milkshake, y'all, delicious, delicious, y'all. It's peach. It's a peach something. 
It's new. It's a summer flavor. And it, it is the truth, y'all. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Mm. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I got like an hour. I might go walk somewhere. Cause it's so beautiful outside, y'all. Mm. I'm pretty sure summer has already started, but this feels like a beautiful spring day. Wind blowing, sun shining. Yeah. yeah. You can wear shorts if you want. You can wear blue jeans if you want. As you can see, I got on this yellow hoodie. I love wearing hoodies like shirts. So I have nothing under this. Like, I don't have a shirt under it. Uh, and then I just got on some mom jeans that I ripped up. Some light color mom jeans. Alright, so the word I wanted to share with y'all. Alright. I'm still in Jude, okay? And I just came to a really interesting text in the book of Jude. Jude. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that stuck out to me in Jude this week was verse 5. Where it says that Jesus is the one who delivered the people out of Egypt and destroyed all those who did not believe. That was neat to me. Just to see Jesus in the Old Testament, y'all. Like, Jesus did not come on the scene when he was born of the Virgin Mary. No, Jesus was active throughout history. And this was neat to see Jude teaching us that Jesus is the one who delivered the people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. It was Jesus, y'all. He existed before he was born. He existed. All right. So that was neat for me to see. And so my brain went so many places with that, you all. But I want to try to keep this short. But I want you all to look at verse 5 yourselves and just see where your brain goes when you look at those words. That Jesus alone delivered them out of Egypt. And destroyed all those who did not believe. All right. The second part that I highlighted for you all. All right, so it's amazing, it's amazing scene for one that the archangel Michael disputed with Satan over the body of Jesus. It's just so amazing to see like a behind the scenes like spiritual dispute, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but what stuck out to me was the fact that Michael does not slander Satan. And yet, what Jude is pointing out is that there are those who slander glorious ones. Like, Michael rebukes Satan by saying, the Lord rebukes you. The Lord, not me, the Lord does it. And it was just really neat for me to see that like, even Satan, who is the enemy of God, who is the one who tried, who betrayed God, and tried to take God's glory, and then took a third of God's angels with him when he fled from heaven. Right? This is the one who was not slandered. Even though he was trying to steal the body of Moses. Why? I have no idea. I would love to know what he was planning to do with that body don't know but the point is Judas telling us that even in that situation Michael did not slander Satan the archangel Michael said to Satan the Lord rebukes you I don't have to do it all right so that was very encouraging to me reminding me that like we don't have to slander people Right, there are people who there are people who do wrong things to us. There are people who treat us badly, you all. 
or who treat badly those who we love. But we don't have to slander them. We don't have to lower ourselves to that point of slandering their name. There are believers, right, who do bad things in the name of God. There are well-known pastors, well-known preachers and teachers who disgrace God and they do bad things to people. But it's not our job, you all, to slander them. That's not our job. It's our job to remind them that God is the one who rebukes their actions. It is God. It's not our place. So that was neat to me. Y'all take a look at Jude. Uh, uh, I added the verses to the video screenshots so you'll see the exact verses that I was looking at. Comment down below. Let me know if there are things that you see that sticks out to you when you read it. I would love to hear how God is teaching you all. So that was what I got so far from my studying this week of Jude. Just seeing Jesus in the Old Testament. Really beautiful. Um, Christ has always existed, you all. He's eternal. He's a part of the Trinity. Jesus, God the Father, and God the Holy Spirit. And it is really neat to me when I see evidences of that, of Jesus, um, his presence in the Old Testament. How he was working, what he was doing, you know, in history. And then just seeing that verse that talked about... Um, even Satan is not to be slandered. And that's a whole nother topic. How many times do we go about like cursing Satan's name? You know what I mean? Well, I just don't know. I'm just, as I'm reading this, I'm starting to wonder, is that our place? Is it our place to do that? Or just to rebuke him in the name of Jesus, right? So, I heard something interesting. I'm just going to share this and then I'm done because I didn't want this to be long, but I heard something interesting about Satan, a theologian's view on Satan from a book. If I learn the name of the book, I will put it in the details of this video, the description, but I don't know for sure if I'll learn the name of it, but it's a book, a theological book. And this lady says that God has a certain level of love for Satan. And it is, she sees it, one, in the book of Job, where God asks Job, where have you been? And it's in the very beginning of the book of Job, there's like this meeting between God and his angels, and God asked um, Satan, I think I said Job, God asks Satan, where have you been? And she talks about how it's like the same question that God asks Adam in the garden when he says, where are you? He's, he's really trying to kind of like draw Satan back to himself. Like, where have you been? Why, why have you left me? Like, anywho, interesting stuff to think on, y'all. Interesting stuff to think on. But regardless, um, just that, that was what stuck out to me this week from June. So uh, I hope that I enjoy the rest of my mom's night. Yeah, I will probably go for a walk somewhere. Cause it's just still really nice outside. The sun is starting to set a little bit. Or it's like clouds are blocking or whatever. But I'm still absolutely enjoying this weather and this day. So, y'all get in the word. Get in your word. Open your Bible. Set and think on what you've read. And let the Lord teach y'all guys. Please like my video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel, y'all. Uh, so I can keep making this stuff. So I can keep sharing what God has taught me. Yeah. All right. Bye. This is how I concluded my mom's night. Hey, y'all. This book is getting good, too, y'all. The game is afoot. And it is. As you can see, I'm like halfway through it. It was good. It's probably my favorite book I've read this year.
but this is how I ended it. At our waterfront, reading my book with the sunset and the beautiful people all around. 